What's up, everybody? Another arcade talk coming at you. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Wherever you're at in the world, hope you're having a great one. Please smash that like button, tap the video up. Okay, guys, I just want to do a real quick video to show you how to install the Zen Studio tables onto a flash drive. So you see where I'm at, over here in the at game 4K pinball. All you need is flash drive. And uh, if it's not formatted, that's fine. If it's a blank one, or if not blank, um, just mount it to your machine. Recommend you turn the machine off when you mount it. And you mount it to the first, I guess I can pull this out, try to show you. But you wanna mount it to, can't see real good, USB slot, which is right here. You got your uh, ethernet right here. And then the USB is right here. Go ahead and plug that in. In there. Okay, it's on there. Now you can't see where it's kind of dark, but right next to the Ethernet. Then you go ahead and come back to the front and turn it on. Down there. Let it boot up. If you didn't know, this control panel uh, decal is from Buy Stuff Arcades. Great job. I did a custom one. It matches the side art. So I did a custom one instead of the one Buy Stuff had, I did the custom one. I think it came out pretty good. Got the kids over there. Got grandma, got everybody in there. Okay, once it loads up, wait till it oh, completely loads up. Okay, make sure your name is over there and it's connected to the internet. It's doing a data base. Okay, so once that's all done, Everything should be back here on your dial. Then first thing you want to do, go into the settings, and then you want to go to FDX. It's over here by device update and friends. So you go in here, go ahead, hit the play button, and then of course you got flash drive X, that's what it's called, and then format or unmount. So you want to go ahead and hit format. Go ahead and hit yes. So it's formatting your flash drive to the at games config and you see it doesn't take very long at all so there it is the format of the flash drive X was successful and then go ahead and hit the back and you can see you got it format what you we just did so you don't want to format it again and then now it actually says unmount so you can unmount it now um, but go ahead and go back and in only tables right now you can do this with is um, Adams Family and Universal Pack but go ahead and go to App Store X and then you want to find your uh, Universal Classics Pinball Pack on mine it's next to Taito Bubble Bottle Pack and Attack from Mars so you find the Universal Pack then you just hit enter or hit the play button and up here is your first page says manage package. So you got update, uninstall, more details, purchase additional license. That's page one. And then you use your flipper button over here. Like find it right here. The right one. Just hit that. That takes you to page two. And then page two, here you go. You manage offline mode or you move package. So you want to go ahead and hit move package. And then it tells you... The file size is taken 965.22 MB space on internal storage, and you have 216 gigabytes available space on Flash Drive X. Are you sure to move Universal Classic Pinball package files from internal to Flash Drive X? And you just go ahead and hit Move Package. It even tells you, you know, your internal storage and then your FDX USB drive storage available and used. So it's pretty cool. So go ahead and just hit Move Package. As it says, do, please do not remove the flash drive X USB drive while the move is in process. It's interesting, it doesn't show like a percentage. It just shows you the little dial there, but. I don't think this takes real long to do. Yeah. 
Yep, there you go. And it says the package successfully moved to the flash drive X. Go ahead back. Go ahead and back out of here again. Okay, then now you're back to normal. And uh, it doesn't matter where you have your stuff. It will still be there. Like I have a universal pack right here. Jaws is still in my favorites. You know I moved it to flash drive X. But if you go ahead and remove the flash drive, which I recommend you turn off your machine. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Dismount the flash drive. I guess you could do it too where you just unmount it from that settings. But this is probably easier to do and probably better for it. Let this thing load up. Takes a couple seconds here. There's a database. And then, okay, so now we're good. So everything's on here on the dial. So now if I go back to my favorites. Whoops. Uh, Jaws, ET, and Back to the Future are gone. But if you put your flash drive X back in, it will show up. Now, I don't recommend you just put, plug in this in like I'm going to do. I recommend you turn it off before you plug it in. But I just want to show you exactly what it does. Okay, now I got it plugged in. And then, voila, you saw they actually popped up. And yeah, my favorites now. So that's it guys, that's how easy it is to move your Zen tables from the hard drive to external flash drive. Okay, so if you want to put your Zen tables back onto the hard drive, you just repeat the process. Just go back into App Store X, find your universal package, go ahead and click on it, and then go to page two using the right flipper and go back up to uh, move package uh, hit move package again and it's going to put it back to the hard drive that was pretty quick the package system moved to the internal storage so there you go just go ahead and hit back back again and there they are now, if I went back into my settings, go to FDX, go ahead, hit um, unmount, unmount, you unmount the drive successfully. So if you want to, you can just go ahead and unplug it. So there's my USB right there. Now, if I go back into my favorites, I'll go ahead and hit back on there. Back again. And if you go back to my favorites, you'll see they're still there. Even though my flash drive is out, it's not on the flash drive anymore. It's back on my internal. And there you go. So it's that easy to install your Zen tables onto the flash drive. And then it's pretty easy to put it back into an internal hard drive if you want to. So uh, let me know if you have any comment, questions, or concerns in the comments section of this video. If you're new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell on. I thank you in advance. Until the next video, I will see ya.